hello everyone i hope you're having a beautiful saturday and um it's i think almost the first day of spring which i'm so excited to feel the birds sing in my in my ear in the morning and i i really enjoy this time of year as the light starts getting longer and longer and longer i really thrive in that um in that more light in my life and um i hope you too and um I am picking up on the theme that I started talking about yesterday, which was about dreaming big. And uh, and I feel that uh, freedom is one of the things that showed up um, when I woke up today. And, uh, and how the freedom to actually have the dream. <laughs> and, uh, and I feel that this past year we've all been restricted in our interactions because Obviously, a pandemic is here, and we are we're still trying to create this way of being. And one of the things, the things that I really picked up early on in the pandemic, was that we were called, all of us, the entire globe, were being called to rise up into a different state of consciousness. Like, what does that even mean? It's easier said than done, right? Especially when you're sick, when your family's sick, when you're, when you, when you're experiencing all this tremendous loss around, in the planet, and um, and one of the things that I that I've been witnessing is that a lot of us have left or dropped our tools, and um, in one of our my mission in in this life, I've, I've realized is to educate educate my community, educate and and continue to be a kind of like a beacon of life, pick up pick up my tools so that I can share those tools with people. Uh, today I went to, um, this is my week here in Charlotte. Uh, many of you know that I spend a week here in Charlotte and then I go back to back home to Charlottesville to the studio. And so it is a, it is the weeks that I'm here in Charlotte are, are weeks of growth because I have a lot of time to study I have a lot of time to dedicate to um, to just being creative and when I come back into Charlottesville it's all about applying all that creativity and then making that creative uh, piece of, of the work come to life and so I practice here at a studio um, called white two and one of their teachers really inspired me this morning and um, her name is Jonna Smith and she has a beautiful practice and, um, and she is also a beautiful teacher. And I always seek um, inspiration outside of myself because I can only find so much and I cannot solve the problems sometimes. I need to get from here, I have to go out and then apply, get the tools and then bring them back inside and then make them work for myself. And then obviously ask questions, what tools work for me? Today may not necessarily be the work of the tools that work for you today. And and so that is where that theme of freedom really started resonating with me. And uh, not just the meaning of living life as we choose, but it's also about maybe the shift in our perspective. We have we have the ability to shift our perspective and 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 allowing our pressing condition to not be so restrictive by the state or frame of mind that we're in. Um, sometimes we picture this freedom in more extreme guises, but when we truly feel free, our lifestyles may not change drastically. It is more of a taste of mind. It's, um, the only change might be that you're choosing to live a certain way maybe rather than feeling obligated to work or to do this thing. But how do you, how do you get there, right? Is we can conceptualize as, yeah, I, you know, I want to feel freedom within. The, the freedom, it, it's part of the work and picking up the tools, picking up the asana, the yoga, picking up the nutrition, picking up the wisdom teachings, picking up community, these are all pieces that when we integrate all of them and we make them work for us, this is when we start to truly feel free, free within. And so my invitation is to pick up your tools, um, pick up your nutrition, pick up your asana, pick up your meditation, pick up your community 
and let the, all of those pieces of the puzzle work for you. When, um, when I spoke to Jonah after class today um, and being inspired and to really spark and ignite our community because if you are in Charlottesville, you know how difficult it has been to kind of start get the spark going again and, and building our community. And so I've invited her to come and teach a workshop at the studio. So we're still, I'm still like in the early stages of, of brainstorming what, what that workshop looks like. She is a super strong teacher at, um, in the physical side, but she's also in the Ayurveda. And so she has a lot of strength in that way. So, you know, it's the freedom to pick up those tools and then bring them up into our studio, bring them up into our lives so that we can all thrive together. And then another piece that I, I'm going to continue to talk about every time is this nutrition piece. When when I feel my nutrition is lacking, that I'm being kind of lazy in my choices, and um, I feel it resonate the next or the next couple of days in my in how my mind operates. When I start bringing dense nutrition nutrition in my life, I can see my thoughts be moving in a different direction. They become more positive, and not because I want them to be positive, but because they naturally are there for me to pick up and lead into like a snowball of positivity. And then we can go into the whole other conversation of toxic posit positivity, <laughs> which is not necessarily what I want to I want to focus on. But it's just um, it is it is naturally when we have good habits or cleaner habits, we tend to be happier. We have, it's an easier, it's easier for us to smile. And so I partner with, or the studio partner with Shannon Larise, and we are doing a nutrition challenge. And this is starting April 12th. We have a bunch of um, opportunities to learn about this program. We, um, all of the events are on our web page. Go to the event page. You'll see the 21 day challenge with named it light your fire challenge because it is about lighting your fire from within the tapas and then burning them out shining out and then just picking up your projects and let your nutrition drive your expression everything that you do at work it is going to be better this just we don't have to explain it you can understand how your nutrition is going to fuel your life and so we'll talk about how to work the program i'm going to do it with you kendall's going to do it with you and uh, we're gonna bring dense nutrition for 21 days. It's an experiment. And what the results typically are, leaner bodies. Yeah, you can choose to do everything to lose weight, but it's not the point. The point is that when you, when you do become leaner, your habits become leaner, your mind becomes leaner, right? And then you can go extrapolate on and on and on. And uh, so this is exciting. Um, sign up for one of the um, one of the info sessions. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. You, you, all you have to do is come in, talk to us. We're gonna make you laugh. We're gonna have a little bit of beverages and community. You can do it on on your virtual. Um, we'll have it virtually. Whatever. I'm getting lost here. Uh, virtually accessible. Uh, we also have a um, holotropic breathing, and this is another modality. It is a tool to help you going deeper into the subconscious it's about again experiencing freedom and then what that freedom feels like you don't have to make a lot of changes in your life but just little snippets of freedom here and there this is coming up on march 26 it is a friday night it's a two and a half hour workshop kendall and i are leading it it is intense breath work right we're gonna bring all the group together and there's my little toto we're gonna to bring together the group and so that you feel cohesive, cohesive and safe. And then from there, we're gonna go into that breathing exercise. It takes about an hour. Um, and so we'll explain how the breath works. And then at the end, we'll integrate your experience. We can talk about it. We can talk about like what experiences I've had. I've been practicing this for almost 12 years and the breath has been transformational for me. And, um, and we, we want to share it with everyone at the studio. Um, I'm going to consolidate all my thoughts again in this post at the bottom, talk more about freedom, talk about creativity, talk about collaborating and what that collaboration feels like, less um, reclusive and more open to experiencing life. 
I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day and uh, happy first day of spring and namaste.